I think the definition of greatness is to inspire the people next to you. I think that's what greatness is or should be. It's not something that's, that, that lives and dies with one person. Mm. It's how can you inspire a person to then in turn inspire another person that yeah. then inspires another person. And that's how you create something that I think lasts forever. Yeah. And uh, I think that's our challenge as people is to, um, is to figure out how our story can impact others and mm. motivate them in a way to create their own greatness. There's a quote from uh, one of my English teachers at Lower Marion named uh, uh, Mr. Fisk. He had a great quote that said, rest at the end, not in the middle. And that's something I always live by. You know, I'm not gonna rest, I'm gonna keep on pushing now. There are a lot of answers that I don't have, even questions that I don't have. But I'm just gonna keep going. I'm just gonna keep going, and I'll figure these things out as we go, right? And you just continue to build that way. So that, I try to live by that all the time. Things are never perfect. Yeah. But through love, you continue to persevere, and you mm. move through them, you move through them. And then through that storm, beautiful sun emerges, yeah. right? And inevitably another storm comes. And guess what? You ride that one out too. Yeah. So I think love is a certain determination and persistence to go through the good times and the bad times with the someone or something uh, that you truly love. You know, when you're in, a, in this culture, in our society, you can do some phenomenal things individually, um, but they'll never reach their full potential unless you do them collectively. And you have to figure out how to do that. The challenge for me was always uh, compassion and empathy. I think about 09, things started changing for okay. me. I started really uh, making a conscious effort to better understand. And that doesn't mean I mean, you have compassion and empathy so you go soft on them. It's more like you, you, put, you put yourself to the side and you put yourself in their shoes and understand what they're feeling. And then you have to make certain decisions of, okay, what buttons do I need to push for this yeah. player to get them to the mm -hmm. next level? So it's never, it's not sit around and all, it's all happy-go-lucky right. type of thing. Your leader, your job is to get the best out of them, um, even if you know, they may not like it at that time.